Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Magic Research. It is an incremental game, mostly text-based and UI. I don't think there's actually any visual elements to this. Uh, but it's an incremental game very much in the same way as... Oh, what was that game that I used to play? Arcanum, Theory of Magic. I actually still have that open on a side browser that I just kind of play every once in a while just to grind up some stats. But in this one, in Magic Research, you are the headmaster of a magical institution. What sort of adventures await you? Before you begin, you need to choose a primary school of magic and element. While you may cast spells from any schools, it's easier to learn new spells from your primary school. Your primary element selection may affect availability of effects of various spells, among other things. You'll be able to change these via retirement later in the game. So, first I'm playing Recommending Conjuration. Sure, why not? Uh, creating permanent or semi-permanent physical objects out of nothing. Enchantment. Studies temporarily altering the physical properties of existing objects and creatures. Eh, let's go with Conjuration for the time being. And honestly, let's go Earth. I feel like Earth mages are, are kind of overlooked. And let's dive right in. So it looks like we don't really have much of anything. So we're just going to gather mat mana. Oh, and here's the clicker game elements. Let's fix that. I don't hate the clicking aspect of these games. Oh. You're a wizard. Gathering men is useful, but why would you do it if you had nothing to use it for? You slowly recall how to cast spells and remember a basic conjuration spell. Create Pebble. You think of trying it soon. You've unlocked the ability to cast spells. You can cast spells by pressing the wand icon in the top right or bottom right corner of the screen. Okay, so we want to create a pebble. I think this is just training, so we're going to have to gain more. That ain't fast enough. Uh, yeah, that's the stuff. The mana reserves of the school are building up. Looking at them, you realize they may soon hit their maximum. Only you had a way to store more mana. Then you remember you remembered what you learned as an apprentice, that mana shards can increase capacity. We could buy some if we had enough coins. Maybe we, with some illusion spell, you can now build mana shards. Okay. I'm gonna just work on stone for the time being. Oh, because Create Pebble actually gets me stones. Storage ideas. Accumulating stone is worthwhile. As you watch your reserves getting close to full, you start thinking there may be a way to improve the situation. Maybe you could use the stone to create more room. Seems like a smart, straightforward idea. You can make a stone warehouse. You can now build warehouses. Okay, storage ideas. Where do I build stuff? Because conjuration or illusion, so I can do a magic show. Uh, let's see. I think that got me a little bit of money. Can I actually see what- Ah, I can see what it gets me. Let's go back and take a look at these. Uh, let's see. So campus? Is it under campus? No. Stats? Help? Options? Oh, warehouse. Right here. But it looks like I'm going to need a lot more stones. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to max out the amount of stones that I have. Storage. So I'm going to need a lot of coins before I can actually do that. Ooh, mana spout. Automatically generates manas and refill your supply. So 0.5 per second. So it requires a fair bit of uh, stone and water to actually get this thing going. But it seems very worthwhile. Because yeah, if I can get my automatic generation as high as possible, then we don't have to... Then I don't have to click the button as much. Not that it really matters. Auto clicker script makes this really easy. Let's uh, let's just go until we have everything kind of as capped out as possible. Uh, at least as far as the generation, then I'll work my way up to more storage. Our studies of magic are starting to become more fruitful. With our recent advances, we're already starting to broaden our horizons. The campus is big, but there's only so much in it. it seems like there's a nearby forest that we may be able to find wood, which would help us develop our institution further. Can gather wood. Well, we want to create some water. I've been struggling with water storage for a while. Creating it is easy, but you have nowhere to place it. It just drops to the ground. You feel a surge of inspiration as you realize you could build a container. Then you figure it's downright obvious. You set out to build a water tank with some stone and wood. So water tank requires... Uh, coins. Well, I could do that. Or I could go back to being, um, just working on my mana generation. Because if I can max this out while I work on other things, we just... Uh, let's see, while I work on other things, it'll just stack up. Okay, so now we've stacked up as hard as we possibly can. Oh, and I can just gather wood freely. These strips of the forest are starting to get tedious. You're starting to wonder if there's a way you could make it easier for yourself. Perhaps there is a way. 
Maybe we can use the wood we obtained to make something bigger. You're lo you get lost in thought as you walk back towards campus. By the time you arrive, you figured it out. Lumber yards right at the edge of the forest. It can surely work. You can now build lumber yards. Unfortunately, also requires... Oh, well, mana storage and some other things. So mana shard is going to require money. What about enchantment? Enchant the water spouts. What does that do? Doubles mana production for a limited amount of time. And we're also leveling up my spells very slowly. Let's go to illusion for now. Because we need, we need money to be able to do anything. Okay. Extra max mana. A wild re researcher appeared. An enthusiastic lady looks at your mana and notices the large amount you have. Wow, this would be a great source material, she says. You look at her, perplexed and somewhat confused, and then she continues explaining. Large amounts of mana are hard to come by, and are almost a requirement for the successful study of magic. Are you trying to study magic here? That's exciting. I'd be willing to work for you for a small price of 200 coins. Of course, you'd be the first to learn what I find out. And you'd be able to tell me what I should focus on, she says earnestly. So it will be. Maybe later. Uh, hopefully we can find... Okay, so she's an ongoing event. So I'm going to need a decent amount of money so I can actually pay for her. There she is. Pay 200 coins. You produce 200 coins out of your pockets and hand them over to the researcher. She looks at the coins and puts them away in the pockets of her robes. Perfect. I'll get started right away, she exclaims. I'm sure this is the beginning of a very fruitful relationship for us both. So we can now do research. I'm going to go back to enchantment, enchant my mana spouts, and then just keep doing magic shows for a little while. Because unfortunately, I'm kind of, I kind of have an upper limit here, and it's becoming an issue. I guess we might as well gather magic. Rather than just waiting for it to go up. So how much money do I have? Decent chunk, not too much. Okay, let's just let it fill up. Because I wanted to get uh, the warehouse. I want to get the warehouse. I want to get the lumber yard. Well, I guess we might as well get another mana shard. Booster maximum. And then gather magic until we can get a lumber yard. So that'll just get us some some wood. Slowly. Okay, so water tank lets me stockpile more. Warehouse lets me also stockpile more. However, housing for researchers. Your researcher comes up to you. Staying here has been great so far, she says, but it certainly is somewhat lonely. It'd be great to have company. We could get double the work done. Imagine how fast we could discover new things. But there's a problem. There's nowhere for them to stay in. I have an idea for a cabin, but we'll need to build it first. Oh well, back to work, she mentions as she turns away and continues focusing on her research. You ponder her words for some time. Regardless of her feelings, you recognize that double the researchers could greatly speed things up. You think of possibly building a researcher cabin, as she suggested, and hiring an extra researcher. Okay, so research. Uh, conjuration primary. We're currently not working on anything. If I just do assign to every school, hopefully we don't have to worry about it. Okay, and researcher cabin is going to require... I mean, that's not outside of our capability at the moment. Conjuration is leveled up. Uh, so crate rock gets me 90. Okay, so we should probably get that uh, warehouse as we can no longer store that amount. Uh, looks like I'm also going to need a lot of... Let's see, a lot of these things. Get rid of the mana spout and the mana shard. We don't need to know what these do. If I get two of those, nah, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually make this go any faster. Oh, it's a downer. Not a huge one. Okay, let's just cast a bunch of illusions. Hopefully we can get like passive income at some point. Or just better money. But let's get the warehouse so now my wood can stack up. Okay, housing. Researcher cabin. Needs a lot of wood and a lot of stone. We have the money, so we don't need any more of that. Let's see. I don't know how long this... It says for 30 seconds. I don't know if there's a tracker for... Oh, there it is. Question. If I cast it again... Okay, it just resets. That's unfortunate. Let's see, so we can create pebbles, we can create rocks. I might as well create rock a bunch of times. How much does this level up? So that's, what, a 20 gain in Conjuration? 
I'm pretty sure creating pebble like a gazillion times is actually just better for me. Okay, well, let's go back down here. Uh, researcher cabin needs a lot of wood. Uh, I do so love clicker scripts. They're kind of cheatsy, but I like them. So we go back to research. Uh, oh, we only have one. We have a higher capacity, but we can hire another. We just need 500 coins. Yeah, I mean, I might as well just work on leveling up my illusion. Let's see, what do I need for another mana spout? Oh, we just need water. Casting spells is repetitive. How many times have you manually cast a spell by now? You've lost count. It's certainly not difficult for you. However, there's a real repetition in these casts. I wonder if there might be a way to somehow automate this, as it's starting to feel a bit dull. But thinking about it, you can't figure out any solution. If I do expand all... No, that just... Expands what I got. We should probably get that water tank. Oh, pile of wood. Uh, we have an absurd amount of wood now. Well, let's... Go back up here. Enchant the mana spouts. And then... Hopefully get another... Uh, let's see. At least another warehouse. Oh no, I guess we didn't go over cap there. Uh, let's get the... Let's get the water tank for now, because we're going to need that if I want to get some more spouts. Oi. Okay, that is... That is going to take a little while. And yeah, we should probably save up the money so we can get the researcher. Okay, another mana spout, just for a little bit more. Can't do too much with it for the mo moment, but it's fine. And then yeah, just... Magic shows until we have enough money. Ugh, 500. Ouch. Oh, wait, we can favorite it. Your researcher walks up to you. She's together with a shaky individual who seems barely breaking into adulthood and appears scared at your sight. I have a great idea, she says. This is my cousin. He's a wizard in training. An apprentice wizard, she continues while gazing at him, before looking at you once more. It's an honor to meet you, headmaster, exclaims the apprentice, while bowing at you somewhat too deeply. The researcher continues. It'd be great to have him stay here. He could help you cast spells and continue improving our campus. Besides, a magical institution makes no sense without people who'd like to learn. What do you think? She says. You recall thinking about how tedious it was to cast spells. This would be a big help. There's just a little problem. The researcher continues. There's nowhere for him to sleep in. You need to build something. You saw it coming. Still, you can't wait. You've had enough casting ca uh, casting create pebble manually. You reassure, reassure the researcher and her cousin that you'll think about it and you walk away, starting to picture what you would need to construct suitable housing for your first apprentice. Okay, apprentice dorm. Uh, I'm gonna favorite... Ah! So we can just favorite magic show. So that gets me the money that we need. Ooh, boy, I'm going to need a lot of that. Okay, let's just binge our mana up. And I'm just going to create rock a couple of times. We now have cre wa create water 2. Large chunk of water. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess I'm just going to favorite a couple of these. Okay. I got to remember to effectively just cast enchant water spout whenever we get the opportunity to. Uh, let's see. Okay, Apprentice Dorm. Construction for the first Apprentice Dorm is finished. You celebrate with a small audience. You notice the Apprentice from before is still there. You approach him, though he seems still still seems fearful and bows deeply. Is that housing I could use, he says with a timid voice. You nod and ask him if he'd like to become your first Apprentice. He shakes, visibly and clearly nervous. That'd be great. It's an honor to be able to learn from one such as you, Headmaster. I'll move in right away. I've unlocked a... Apprentices. Apprentices can automatically cast spells for you after a set amount of time. You may manage them in the apprentice section in the left hand menu. Ooh. Okay, apprentices. We want him to cast. Ah, but I need enchantment level two. Uh, well, illusion is actually going to be very easy. Is there a way I could make this wider? Kind of. Yeah. The only problem is it kind of scuffs up my um, UI a bit. Where are options? Here we go. Target FPS. 60? 
prevent device from sleeping. School events during the first 15 minutes of a run. Dark mode. Ooh, that's nice on the eyes. Save data, load data, keep awake. But yeah, I can't, um, uh, hmm. Can't make it actually full screen. That's unfortunate. I think I'll just keep it as it is. Hopefully it won't cut off too much. Cause yeah, I'd rather actually have it fit the whole uh, video more than anything else. Okay, uh, so we, we are going to need some more apprentice dorms, but boy, those are going to take some space. And we're getting a lot of money. Oh, the researchers are giving me constant EXP. That's how that works. Okay, so if we go back to this, we can hire another researcher. Um, I guess I'm going to have them go into illusion. In fact, I'm going to have both of my researchers work on illusion. Ooh, and that's going to get kind of pricey. So if we go back to apprentices, so every 60 seconds, they will... Let's see, every 60 seconds, they will cast magic show. We might want to try and specifically push my, um... Hmm. I'm not sure, actually. We might want to work on my mana spouts. That's something I've been kind of ignoring here. And at this point, now I have enough storage that we can get it. I was gonna say, we might also want to get my m magic up. Or, not my magic, my money. Like, max that as- max that out as much as possible. Because if I can get that up to a thousand, maybe I'll be able to store more. Maybe not. I think I'm still going to work on my manis, uh, mana spouts just until we hit cap. Until it starts slowing down tremendously. Because the faster this game is just on its own, the easier life is going to be for me. Okay, more mana spouts. Unfortunately, it is getting quite expensive. And this is going to take a little bit of time. It's worth it. But it's going to take a lot of time. I guess if I get a bunch of apprentices, this might actually be easier. Because if I had two that would cast uh, the mana spout for me endlessly. Let's see. Because two of them, uh, two of them in sequence would be every 30 seconds, which is as long as it's, uh, as long as it lasts. Yeah, why don't we why don't we look into getting some more apprentice dorms? More than anything else. Ah, researcher calls your attention. There's a place you should see, she exclaims, walking outside campus. Follow me. You do as instructed. You end up in what seems to be a fairly rocky cliff. However, you notice the rock in the wall shining a different color. That's iron, your researcher says. This is a sturdy metal, not useful for casting magic, but it could be great for building buildings, or... You agree with her. Learning about this place for the first time, you thank the researcher. You'll be sure to come back prepared for next time. This could be useful. We can gather iron. Okay, but I'm gonna need a bunch of stone first. We're gonna get at least one more apprentice if we can. And now I'm gonna need more warehouses. Here's the question, do I have two? Let's take them off of that. Oh. Well, I kind of hate to do it, but why don't we actually force my mana, or my mana, my enchant enchanting up to a thousand? It's not great, but with a high enough mana capacity and gain, it's not terrible either. I wish it would stack. That would be absurd. Oh, which is why they don't. Okay, enchanting is now level 2. Oh, we actually have a goals thing. Oh, current goal. Gather 800 coins. Yeah, I should work on that. Alright, so I should have two of these. We want to do those. So every 30 seconds they will cast uh, enchant mana spouts, and so that'll just keep it up permanently. So now, yeah, I guess the next order of business would be a multitude of magic shows. Oh, we also have a wind show. 
which makes me even more. You managed to stockpile large amounts of coins. It'd be wise to find a place to put them in. Warehouses have been useful. Stone has proven to be a good material for a ton of things. You think about using it for specialized building, uh, specialized building for money storage. You're concerned about bandits, but are convinced it'll be worth it in the long run. We can now build vaults, which require a lot of stone. Okay, oh, that's 20,000 maximum. That's absurd. Traveling merchant appeared. Merchant crosses the campus doors and waves at you. Hello, he exclaims. I'm interested in buying 32 stones. I'm willing to pay a bunch of coins for them. Okay, so we can just create a bunch of rocks. How much does he need? Yeah, there we go. You give the merchant the stones. He happily takes them. Here are your coins, he says. Nice doing business with you. He walks away afterwards. All right. So now I've got an absurd amount of money. I guess the next order of business would be... Well, we should probably get another lumber yard at some point. Let's get another couple of warehouses. Uh, as now these will stack up a fair bit. So lumber yard requires... Oh, just mana. And my buffs are continuing unabated. Perfect. Yeah, let's just uh, max out our mana real quick. Because I might as well get a couple of those. So I never have to gather a single tree. Get up to 400. Hopefully we can do the same thing with... Oh, no, we can't do the same thing with stone. Oh, well, that's fine. So now we're gaining 7 lumber per second. I doubt we'll run out anytime soon. Okay, back to conjuration. So... Ooh, that's gonna take a while. Maybe we're getting some more researchers, just because. Because it seems like investing in... Everything other than con... Uh, researching everything other than Conjuration might not be a bad idea. Okay. We're just waiting on the wood. So I guess I should do whatever. How much money do I have? What amount? Let's get another researcher. Ooh, they are pricey. Uh, so do we want to just keep investing in enchantment? I think so. Because that, double, that doubles the amount of lumber I gain. And then, once again, every 30 seconds. So yeah, it actually almost seems like the best thing I could possibly do is just have a bunch of apprentices cast enchantments over and over and over again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing I can do at the moment. Oh, we should probably also gather that iron. Mana Geysers, as you slowly start getting more and more iron, you think of a plan to improve on your mana spouts. You're thinking that by adding iron, you should be able to create a structure that produces mana at a much faster rate than a simple spout. It will require a lot of iron, but it will be worth it in the long run, you tell yourself. Mana is the cornerstone of magic. Ooh, Mana Geyser. So that is going to require a lot of water and a lot of iron. Fair enough. I guess I should go for a bunch of water. Oy. Yeah, that, that requires a lot. Well, I'm just going to keep collecting as much iron as I possibly can. And fine, I'll collect some mana too. We might want to actually save up for some shards. Oh, do they just require mat uh, money and nothing more? Because, yeah, just boosting my maximum would also be nice. Just just so whenever I get s sidetracked, bogged down doing other things, then it's not so bad. Ugh, that. Water Geyser is going to take a time and a half. Ooh, yeah. That's just... That's going to be expensive. Because, yeah, we need a lot of... We need a lot of coins. We need a lot of water. Unfortunately, I think we're just waiting on research. I'm almost wondering if it's actually based on... Let's see. I'm almost wondering if the continue doing research requires me to get three of my skills... Uh, all three of my skills up to, like, level three or something. It could just be, a, like, an overtime thing. Or, no, I don't know. 
Your researcher approaches you and mentions something to you. Headmaster, I think we you may already be aware, but we have a proper true magical institution. We should start thinking about the Tournament of Magic. You're not sure what she means by that, but she continues. The Tournament of Magic is a competition between magical institutions. It's a major event in regards to the re research of magic, and those who manage to compete in it, let alone the winner, are sure to get great fame and prosperity. You could really take our school to new heights, she explains. You talk to her some more, and you start feeling like it's a great goal to have, though you know you're nowhere close to reaching it, at least for now. Okay, let's get another geyser for the time being. The spouts might honestly be still kind of easier. That's a lot of water. No. I don't know. I'll invest in both of them. Okay, Tournament of Magic. So I don't think we can do anything about it at the moment. So what do we want to do? Invest in more researchers? Probably. Unfortunately, they're going to be very expensive. 2,000. Oh, boy. Oh, I guess I'm just going to gather magic. Because, yeah. I mean, at least we can store well past 2,000. Like, the limitations are very minor. Hey, one more cast and we've got Illusion Level 3. we got the Bubble Show. As expensive, but there is the money. So let's go back to research, hire a researcher. And now I'm just going to keep investing in, in enchanting, considering um, I seem to be casting illusions and conjurations constantly. Uh, whereas I'm not doing the same with enchantments. Conjuration, we're, we're getting close. Yeah, what else do we want to do? What is my goal? Yep, continue doing research. Enchanting is now level 3. I didn't say I got anything new, though. Which is actually kind of sucks. Hey, it's actually outstripping my illusion gain. That's kind of good to know. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to do, though? Oh, I should remove Create Mana Spouts, because I no longer need that. Oh, and we're maxed out on wood. I don't know if that's a problem, though. Why don't we get, why don't we get some more apprentices? Because I might as well have them start to cast uh, Create Rock on the regular. Because, yeah, it's... 60 seconds per cast no matter what. I'll need a lot of uh, a lot of apprentices for that one. But this way we'll gain at least a very small gain in rock quantity. Just so I don't have to constantly manage it. Then again, it does not take much before uh, for me to like max out my stone. What do you need for the next one? Wood. Oh. I could also go for the boosted lumber camp production, but I, I don't know. Don't know if I need it. I guess we could get some more lumber yards. Just keep boosting it. Who needs to double its effects when it's so cheap to improve? Part of it is it doesn't require more mana with every production. It's just more wood and stone every time. Now, let's see. Oh. Crafting station, hold up. Your focus is interrupted by your researcher, who yells at you. Headmaster, she says. Gathering resources like wood and iron is great, she continues. Wouldn't it be more interesting if we could make more complex stuff from them? You try to convey to your researcher that we have, in fact, been crafting complex things from resources, the buildings. She frowns. No, not that. She says unhappily. Buildings are huge. I'm thinking more useful, smaller things. Potions? Weapons? Magical items? Uh, let's see. So we need 2,000 coins, 2,000 woods, and 100 iron. So you continue listening to her. We had a crafting station where we can make a lot of these. If only it wasn't so expensive to build, I could do it myself and learn more about it. She says, somewhat frustrated. If you aren't you aren't sure whether to pay heed to it, why would you need things like weapons in a magical institution? You think about it some more. Uh, let's see. Well. I guess I might as well go back to enchantments. Favorite the enchant lumberyards 
so I can just make sure that's running sim simultaneously. Okay, we can now create iron. That's really good, and it's going to save me a lot of time and effort. Uh... Wow, and I can create a whole bunch of this stuff. All right, build it. It was difficult, but crafting this, the crafting station is finished. Your researcher, filled with joy, runs towards it and examines it from every angle. You notice your apprentice also taking notice of it and looking at it curiously. Crafting station, you wonder if you might be able to do something with it right away. Conjuration and enchantment, says your researcher. As she passes by you with the apprentice, focus on research in those schools, and we should be able to make items. They head outside together. You've unlocked the inventory and crafting features. You can access your inventory in the left side menu. Okay, so inventory. Well, we can't do anything with that. Uh, or maybe craft items. So what can we, we make? So a chest for carrying items. Crystallized mana. So we just need more mana. Wooden sandals for armor? And... I don't know what these are. And then some cloth. So I guess in that case, we should probably get some mana shards. Because I don't know about stats or adventuring. But that might be something that we contend with. Okay, so let's go back to inventory, craft items. So hand, empty, accessory. Okay. So it looks like it can make as many of those as I want, but I might be limited. Okay, so I can only equip one. So we still need a hand item and a body item. Equipment, accessory. Accessory, quest item. Chest is... oof. Equipment hand, equipment dagger. But we don't have any temperature. And we don't have any wool. So I'm probably going to ignore some of that stuff for at least a little while. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to need probably warehouses. We'll want some more lumber yards, but my gain is pretty good. Okay, another wear water tank. I'm just gonna stack a bunch of this stuff. And yeah, maybe we look into more apprentices. I mean, honestly, apprentices and researchers. Because this is one of those that I could just leave this running for a little while. And gain more. What is my uh, enchantment up to? Eh, it's gaining a lot. That's another apprentice dorm. So if we go back to apprentices, what do we want? Create rock a little bit more often? Yeah. The problem is apprentices are kind of expensive. I almost should have them do, like, create water instead. So why don't we actually do that? Every 30 seconds we create some water. Hopefully I'll just remember to actually, you know, get it. Oh, really hot oven. You see an apprentice by the door to your room. You approach him and ask what's wrong. He shakes a bit. Then finds the courage and speaks. I've been thinking about crafting, but it's very hard to shape metal right now, he says. Maybe if we had a really hot flame, we could be able to be much more effective with crafting. Maybe even make some real weapons. You realize he has a point. Still don't know why your apprentice and your researcher are eager to make weapons, but building a furnace could make it a lot easier to craft multiple types of weapons. Okay. A young man, dressed as a wizarding apprentice, shows up on campus with a crystal ball. Headmaster. Your magical prowess is known far and wide, she says. Crystal balls are important magical artifacts that can be used to know the future. I'd like to know my own destiny, but my skill isn't strong enough. Perhaps you can help me. Pretend to read the future. You utilize your illusion prowess to create fuzzy images inside the crystal ball. You pretend to be focused on divining the future as the apprentice watches in awe. As the illusion runs its course, the, you appear to exit your trance. 
You tell the woman she is destined to learn magic and refine her powers at your institution. As much of a lie as it was, she falls for it. Wow, so that's my destiny, she says, while lost in thought. Then I should comply. I I know that it, if you go against destiny, you'll never be able to be successful. Can I stay here and study magic? We have an extra apprentice. Sick. I am a terrible person. Let's, uh, let's just get in enchant lumber yards. And let's... Let's switch this to every 30 seconds. We want to keep that going kind of forever. What are we doing on water? Decent. We'll get another geyser. Lumber yard. I'll just keep, kind of keep stacking those up. What else do we want to do? Unfortunately, continue to do research. So I guess... I guess with that, we should probably go out of our way to just hire a bunch of researchers. Oh, but they're so expensive. Four thousand. Oh boy. That's gonna take some doing. And fortunately, it's an incremental game and an idle game. And that means to some degree this game is best played uh, very slowly while you're doing other things. And uh, it's not as great if I'm if I want to expect like a lot of progress simultaneously. My eventual solution is to bring back a, a show that I used to do called the, um, called Incremental Soup. I didn't do it for very long, and I only did it kind of here and there. I'd like to do it more on a weekly basis, uh, so I can actually get through some of these incremental games, because I think they're a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that gets me too much. Oh, we just need endless money. Yeah, I'm not sure if actually hitting the gather mana button is actually worth it or even helping me too much. Well, we'll hire a researcher. I'll put them into illusion. My conjuration goes up kind of automatically, so we don't need to worry about it. Whereas my enchantment is actually catching up. Oh, but it has to shoot much higher. So, that's that's why. That's fair. And I think otherwise, what I should do is probably just focus on Boosting my mana spouts and my mana geysers just to increase my overall gain. It's just going to take a while. Oh, right. Wasn't there a thing about a forge? Furnace. What do we need? A lot of coins. A lot of rock. Some amount of iron. Not too much. Okay. 3,000 rock. Oof. Yeah, I'll take... That'll take some doing. That's fine. Gather mana. Create rock a bunch. Uh, well, we're almost there. Yeah, if only we could get a quarry so I could gather stone in the same way as I... Same way that I gather wood. Yeah, I'm not sure if me actually gaining mana here helps in the slightest. And yeah, I should start investing in even more warehouses. Okay, so we built the furnace. So if we go back to inventory and crafting... Uh, we can make a branch. It's pretty good, actually. Damage, but also extra mana gain. But I'm gonna have to wait for that one a little bit. But it, I don't know, we're starting to hit some of the grind wall that is inherent to this, this series and I'm losing a little bit of steam. Uh, mostly just because it's hard to commentate over these games. But I like this a lot. It very much reminds me of, well, I mean, Arcanum Theory of Magic. Uh, but it's available on Steam, and I think it says version 1.8. So this might actually be, like, done, and there might just be more content later down the line. New crafting table is doing well, but every time you get rid of an item to make room for another, you feel a bit bad inside. As if reading your mind, a fat businessman with gaudy clothes shows up on campus. He grins at you with a sneaky smile. Good afternoon, headmaster, he exclaims to you. He looks at your item collection for a short while and then turns to you again. May I interest you in a business proposal? You have some interesting items here, he says. I'd very much like to have them. I'd be happy to even offer you a bit of coins for them. It's like music to your ears, but then the businessman continues. Of course, that's possible if I can carry them. You're a very talented individual. Would you be able to craft me a lightweight chest for this purpose? If you do, I'll make sure to come back often and buy your items multiple times. You notice he already has a backpack. 
Eh. How much does it cost? Ooh, okay. We need some warehouses, which means we need some money. Anyway, uh, so I'll I'll work on that chest. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit. I'm almost wondering if going for the staff would be easier. Oh, because I need to have a maximum of four thousand five hundred. Yeah, I think that staff actually would would be easier. At least for the moment. What do I need for that one? Oh, it's just money. Everything is money. Yeah, we definitely we definitely need the merchant so I can sell stuff. Hopefully it'll make my life easier. But, anyway, uh, so rather than kind of slow down here while we wait for certain things to complete, why don't we actually just call it, call it quits and uh, I'll just add this to the inevitable return of incremental soup where I can properly show these things off in greater detail and length by just alternating between them because I could just have four games open simultaneously and just hot swap between rather than waiting for meters to fill up on one or the other. I think that's probably the best way to handle this genre in general, either that or, you know, doing other things like work. Uh, but since this is my work and it's kind of hard to run an idle game while I'm playing video games uh, in such a way that I can do commentary for both, yeah, it pretty much has to be nothing but idle games stacked on top of each other over and over and over again. But that's kind of fun in its own right, too. So, I guess with all of that said, uh, Magic Research is available on Steam. I don't know if it's done done or if it's just kind of like faux done and it'll get more updates. Uh, but it seems pretty feature complete and a lot of fun right now. Um, and it's five bucks. So like, if you don't mind a game that is pretty much all UI, uh, or if you really love incremental games, I think this very much is going to be one of those perfect games for you. Just to waste X amount of hours on. I've got some fans that had recommended this one to me and. I think they've collectively put in over 100 hours uh, over the last, like, two days. So, clearly there's got to be way more fun things to do later on with this one. But for now, at least, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons to show off. But with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.